from wanting to focus on a different character to speculations about a spin-off. Here's why Wesley Crusher wasn't in Star Trek Picard. First off, the pretty big reveal just dropped, and everyone collectively held their breaths. Even though it was something everyone had expecting and wanting it, fans had theories regarding this and they knew this was gonna happen. But still, when it did happen, everyone went a little bit crazy, and their inner geek just jumped out. Wesley Crusher now has a half-brother, who's the love child of Beverly Crusher and Jean-Luc Picard, and his name is Jack Crusher, played by Ed Spilliers. When Spilliers talked about his brother, the actor had nothing but praise for Will Wheaton, who's now his brother in real life. Everyone is curious to know if Ed talked to him about taking the role of Jack Crusher, and the actor has confirmed that he had talked to him after his casting, and that he had praised him and called him Mr. Star Trek. He also revealed that his on-screen brother is pretty happy about the situation, and they had a quite nice chat. Will also knows Star Trek inside out, back to front, and that's why he called him Mr. Star Trek. Well, who doesn't believe that? He's always shown himself to be a big nerd, so of course he knows everything inside out. Oh, and Spilliers also called him a lovely, lovely human. I also have no difficulty believing that. Even though he was a giant pain to Sheldon Cooper, the actor revealed that Will Wheaton was excited about the news. He finally has a brother now. Why wouldn't he be happy? Even though they allegedly won't be meeting in Picard Season 3, and it's been confirmed, actually. Wheaton previously confirmed that he's not going to be returning as Wesley in Season 3, even though he'd already appeared in Season 2. But we can't have everything all the time. It's now been confirmed that it won't happen, because the season wanted to focus on another child of Beverly Crusher, and Wheaton isn't bitter about it. Well, Ed Spilliers has talked about the fact that they've already discussed the idea of sharing a scene, and it sounds like they're both on board to make it happen. They even joked about the idea of the two of them having a scene together. It'd be pretty fun, and who wouldn't love to see Traveler Wesley Crusher rub shoulders with his brother Jack? Between Wesley's supernatural powers and Jack being the son of one of Starfleet's finest officers, it's gonna be epic. There's not a force in the world that could stand against them. You never know. They might just take on the Borg and the Romulans at the same time. Might even win. We're all pretty excited for more adventures with the two brothers, though there's a question about how it could happen. Picard. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Look up. Three. Two. One. So far, so okay. <laughs> Great. The first day I worked. Um, it was not the first day of shooting, however. Okay. Uh, and the first day of shooting was Mr. Spiner and Mr. Frakes. You remember that? Oh, yeah. We, it was, up, it in was up in the hills. Up in the glades. Yeah. 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 And um, I worked the second day, and my first scene, I didn't have a line to speak. Star Trek Picard is ending, and there are already a couple of shows in development. Fans are all desperately waiting for them to take place, even though there's a packed schedule of upcoming Trek shows. Sure, it's possible for both the brothers to pop up together on Lower Decks, or even Prodigy, for a one-off adventure, but everyone wants to see more than just one small scene. The fans did get Wesley's return scene in Picard in Season 2, but this isn't something like that. Us fans need more than that, and it's all speculation speculations for now, but thankfully, Ed Spilliers has already said he wants to return for the future spin-offs. So one of them is on board, and we know that Wheaton's gonna very much be looking forward to it. What's even better is that Will's reintroduction as Wesley may make him fair game for future appearances. Like, he's already here, we've seen him, so there's a possibility he's gonna return as the boy genius. Now it's on the powers that be to make something happen and give fans the brother duo spin-off they never knew they needed. Just imagine these two in their show, and what they could do if they crossed paths. It's gonna be a whole new world out there for all the Star Trek fans. Sure, we're all looking forward to the brothers making an appearance together, but there are so many questions that fans are still asking. Like, where are all the OG Star Trek characters? And is it possible they might appear in the new season? Even if they don't appear on the show, I really want to know where they are right now. 
I'll start with where Sila is. Picard's relationship with the Romulan Empire has been the main part of the show since season one, and he failed to turn the tide of centuries of anti-Romulan prejudice during the supernova disaster, which led to him turning his back on Starfleet. And there's one reason which sets the stage for one final conflict between Picard and the Romulans. So maybe the Romulan intelligence agent Sila is the architect of all of Jean-Luc's recent struggles. It's also possible she authorized the infiltration of Starfleet, and that's why there have been many rumors about her return. Where is she now? It's still not clear who was behind the Daystrom heist, but it could have been her. If you remember, during the next generation, she attempted to ruin the Klingon Empire and invade Vulcan. So it'll be pretty on brand for her to create fear and panic to distract everyone for a larger scheme. Who knows? But where is Lee? Leah Brahms. Picard Season 3 has already introduced Crash, the daughter of Geordi LaForge. But still, Sydney's mother is unconfirmed. In the original TNG finale, it was implied that Dr. Leah Brahms could be the mother of Geordi's children. But we all also remember how controversial his courtship of Leah's holographic replica was. So I'm guessing Season 3 might avoid addressing that revelation from the finale. Because not all fans are going to be amused when they see it and they want to keep the fan service alive, so that can't be an option. But still, as an expert in warp field theory, the crew might need her assistance. So if they put her at the center of Season 3's plot through her connection to the LaForge family, they could re-establish her as a brilliant scientist, rather than a love interest for Geordi, a poor one at that. Lastly, I wonder where Chief Miles O'Brien is, because he was one of the most notable characters from TNG, and his absence can be felt. Of course, like Worf, he also spent a lot of time on Deep Space Nine. Now that it's been established that Worf and Rafi are working for Starfleet Intelligence, I wonder who else could be working with them. Remember how he and his friend Julian worked together to expose the morally corrupt activities of Star Trek's Section 31? So it's not going to be a surprise if the three former colleagues were working with Rafi to track down down the stolen weapons. Let's also not forget that his backstory is pretty fascinating. He served in both wars and has always been upfront about looking back at life and confronting his regrets head on. So his war stories will be the perfect thing to bring to the show for the third season. But there's a catch. Because he came into his own during DS9, Star Trek could be saving his character for an appearance in a Julian Bashir spin-off or a DS9 continuation series. But right now, no one is sure where he is, and he played a memorable role in TNG. So fans are going to be very disappointed if he wasn't at least mentioned in some way. That's all from my side about why Wesley Crusher isn't in Star Trek Picard.